This is Dr. Srikanth from Team MDS Konkur and I'll be discussing about the plan of action for radiology. So radiology is one of the most important subject in the examination point of view because most of the questions are being integrated or interlinked with radiology. That can be your, your general medicine or that can be your oral path on oral medicine or that can be your oral surgery, or that can be your endo. Even endo questions are linked to radiographs and the futures and the questions are being integrated. So if you take just NEAT into consideration, okay, uh, according to the NBA blueprint, uh, the radiology is going to carry more than eight marks, okay? And uh, if you take AIMS into consideration, like just go through the uh, uh, rough ideology and if you have more, more, most of the questions are being linked to the radiology and uh, radiographic diagnosis point of view. Taking all these into consideration, I have prepared a blueprint where we are going to cover radiology at our best from all the aspects. So November 11th and November 10th, we are going to focus on the first chapter that is radiation physics, where we are going to learn some things some aspects, some concepts, which are not actually part of your radiographic diagnosis. Means they are not much helpful in your integrated questions, okay? And the second one is your radiation biology. Third one, that is 13th November, we are going to focus on intraoral radiographic techniques, as well as the processing and faulty radiographs. Most of the questions are being picked in the faulty radiographs, okay, make a note. And the next one is the 14th November, we're going to focus on extra oral radiology and their modifications. Okay, your, your diagram based questions, particularly in your INICET were being focused on the extra oral techniques, the angulations, the extra oral techniques, how the head position, uh, everything is there. Most of your questions are being uh, asked. And your 15th November, we are going to focus on OPG and anatomical landmarks. Okay, your questions are being asked uh, by giving an OPG, asking you to identify the A's of the child or uh, which, is which is a part of your pedo and dental or not. And uh, they're asking questions on different, different aspects like anato anat anatomy of head and neck. Okay, so they're asking questions which bone it is, which part of the bone it is. So such questions are being asked. Of course, I, I, I hope most of you are familiar about your anatomical landmarks in IOPA. All those are very, very important areas and being asked. And I want to mark this uh, 16th November, that is advanced imaging techniques. So apart from normal things, what we learn, your intraoral, extraoral, there are some advanced imaging techniques like MRI, CT, CBCT. Now, if you open your recent AIMS, that is uh, your recent sessions of AIMS, CBCT is one of the star area, okay, where the questions are being posted. Uh, application-based questions in relation to the implants, application-based questions in relation to the endodontics, microendodontics, CBCT or CT or MRI, or the latest advancements in the imaging techniques are uh, utmost important areas where the questions are being asked and if you open your normal or basic MCQ books, what most of the people you are reading, these areas are being completely neglected. Questions are coming, but still neglected. Okay, so it's an important that you have to go back and do an important material over this area, which I'll, which I'll explain you in detail on the website and uh, in our groups. The next one is, okay, this is a very important aspect that is 17th November radiographic diagnosis simply they're going to give some radiographs <laughs> and you have to do the radiographic diagnosis or sometimes they may, may give you the radiograph associated with the clinical scenario or the clinical findings so you have to interlink both the clinical findings and your radiographic findings which you got in the part of investigations and you have to come out with the diagnosis part 18th uh, we will be having some discussions that is uh, radiographic image based and case based discussions okay I mean, like case-based and image-based are the discussions that go throughout your preparation phase because now most of the exams, whether it is NEAT or whether it is INICET, whether it is INBD or whether it is any sort of examination, okay, if, if you just go through the recent question papers of all of these examinations, whether it's a Gulf-based exam or an Australian Dental Council-based exam, any of these exams, most of the exams, they are 
asking an integrated questions okay they are linking the questions from one area to other area so the next goes is the 19th november we have radiographic manifestations of all the systemic diseases 20th november is some of, one of the topic which is completely ignored and completely neglected so you need to do some medical related stuff of radiology also medical related means nothing but your medical friends mbbs friends will have radiology as a major subject so there are few contents few important contents which are important from dental point of view and being asked questions your uh, <laughs> radiation therapy like in your oral surgery or in your uh, oral medicine when you are going through the tumor cyst you have something called as radiation therapy for the tumor cysts so what radiation therapies has to be done what is intraoral radiation therapy what is extra oral radiation therapy uh, they are they are similar they are something like even uh, if you take your uh, uh, prosthetics into consideration when you are talking about the uh, special prosthetics okay there are few special prosthetics uh, which are like given inside the oral cavity so that a radiation device is being kept so there are something like a brachy therapy tele therapy there are so many such such things which you have to make and apart from this there are many things which we will be discussing in detail and everything okay so 21st i want you guys to keep it as a revision and 22nd is your examination on radiology so this is what a rough uh, tentative schedule uh, related to the radiology but i feel like you need to do like you need to uh, i mean like i not give uh, suggestions from the day one but what what i am going to do is like uh, you need to do some sort of core work from the day one okay which we will be discussing that extra work which we will be discussing on the group individually and we will be proceeding so 22nd november 2020 is going to be your d day for radiology so the next important thing what are the things that you have to do i want everyone to keep the star book white and faro as a reference book for radiology throughout your preparation phase apart from this there are few things that you need to do from different areas and different books which we will be discussing on the group as of now the star uh, reference book is your white and faro the few contents okay you have to do this from this book this from that book which will be discussed and will be shared on the group don't worry about that and of course as already discussed in the orientation class that uh, i feel and i i recommend strongly uh if you want to do a mcq book okay so i strongly recommend dentist clinical part okay you need to do dentist clinical part for this and of course the next important thing is power play books uh part 3 will have your radiology being integrated with oral medicine and oral path so apart from this i, I request everyone to finish your smart notes that are available on the website okay uh take the daily exams and and read the relevant content and explanation to each and every question because most of the questions are being picked from the standard books and the uh, books and the topics where uh, all all the examinations are being asked okay so i don't want to discuss all the secrets on the on the video which we are going to share in the social media but all the internal things or the strategies uh, plans and everything will be discussed personally on your respective groups on the website done for now love learning with team mds conquer signing off dr shrikant